Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday, 31st of July 2016, and we're providing our gold and silver update for the week ending the 29th of July. Gold rose in US dollar terms last week by $28, from $1,322 to $1,350. Having hit a high of $1,355 and a spike low of $1,276. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at £1,021, up £12. And in euros, it closed at €1,209. Euros. That's up €4 euros on the week. Silver rose by 71 cents from $19.63 to $20.34, having reached a high of $20.50 and a low of 1908 in sterling terms, it closed at £15.37. That's up 40 pence for the week. And in euros, up 0.31 euros at 17.89 euros per ounce. The gold to silver ratio fell from 67.3 to 1 to 66.4 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 18,432, down 24 points on the day and down 138 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 5,162. That's up 7 for the day and up 62 points on the week. Brent crude was down $2.16 at $43.53. And US light crude was down $2.59 at $41.60. The dollar index stands at 95.53. That's down 1.94 on the week. Well, this week witnessed a good opportunity to purchase gold below the $1,300 level on four separate occasions, albeit briefly, from which level it rallied very quickly. Silver, however, maintained strength for most of the week. There is indeed bullish pressure on silver, and if it continues to hold above $19.50, then we may again witness a rise up to $21 shortly. Though again we reiterate our view from last week that there will be some vacillation during August. We have received a number of comments which we have been unable to respond to. Let us try and explain the reasons for this. Firstly, there are two of us with the capability to produce these videos and the third who assists us with research, but mainly focusing on the inner sanctum. My colleague has been in hospital with a serious heart condition the past three months and two of us have been touring South Africa and the USA and I, the narrator, have spent some time incapacitated in hospital with DVT, which went unnoticed and transferred to the lungs. We are behind with the inner sanctum partly for these reasons and also because, due to technical glitches, our pilot sites have been hacked not once or twice, but four times. We will not launch this unless we are absolutely certain its security is of such a high grade, even the Russian hackers Donald Trump has called for to find Clinton's missing emails would be unable to penetrate it. And so the delay will unfortunately continue for a little while longer, and we apologise unreservedly. We plan to catch up with comments and emails this week and produce a few videos to bring everything up to date. Thank you for your patience and continued support and we are confident that your loyalty will certainly be repaid in the medium to long term. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owner.